Now available for the first time on Google Play, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are falling apart in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy on Google Play today. There was a mass shooting that took place in a St. Louis high school and two people wound up losing their lives and six others were injured. Now in this incident which took place at the Central Visual and Performing Arts High School, former graduate 19 year old Orlando Harris allegedly returned to the campus of his former alumnus with a long gun and other firearms and looked to participate in a mass shooting. Now, as this mass shooting went on, your Orlando Harris allegedly wound up taking the lives of a sophomore student and a health teacher before winding up getting shot and killed by school security. Now, the police are seeing this as an isolated incident, but when I take a critical examination of the background of Orlando Harris, it fits right in line with the pattern and profile for beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And it looks like to me that your Orlando Harris was a ticking time bomb for an extended period of time because he had been talking about mental health and he had also been talking about making plans to participate in some sort of violent act like a mass shooting for an extended period of time. And as he was talking about participating in this act of violence, he also talked about being sick of this school and he was basically simmering, frustrated and simmering and boiling in anger for an extended period of time before he went out here and participated in this horrific act of violence at his former alma mater. Now, the motive I believe that your um, Orlando Harris had for participating in this mass shooting was, wasn't be just because he was sick of this school, it was basically because he did not know how to function in the world and he did not know how to go out here and build a life for himself. Now, one of the problems that many beta males have is they really don't have any sort of male life skills or male survival skills. And because they don't have male life skills or male survival skills, they do not know how to go out here and set a course for a life in the real world. And because they don't know how to set that course, what they want to do is they get frustrated and angry because they see their lives changing. Now, when it comes down to the beta male, they want to go out here and have a smooth world with no problems, conflicts, or obstacles. And high school is a place where you're going to have a lot of conflicts and obstacles because you have to develop social and interpersonal skills as part of your life and survival skills. And you also have to go out here and set plans for where you want to go. And that requires conflict. And it looks like this possibly was what led to the frustrations as related to your Orlando Harris, who said he was a loner his entire life. And it looks like he didn't know how to function socially. And this is what led to him winding up becoming frustrated. And while he wanted to go out here and say he had mental health problems, no, I don't believe he had mental health problems. I believe he was a man in crisis because he did not know how to go out here and navigate a course in life. And he didn't have anybody to give him any sort of guidance because it looks like there, even though he was in a high school, he had no one there to provide him with the proper male life skills and proper male survival skills. And because he didn't have those life skills, he couldn't go out here and set a course for where he wanted to go after high school because while he graduated from this high school he had the opportunity to go out here and make some plans for where he wanted to go in the last year 
but instead of him going out here and looking to go out here and make any sort of plans for his future, he wound up stuck in the past, but seething about his frustrations about not being able to have any sort of social life or any sort of girlfriend and being this isolated loner. This is what he wrote in, in one of his notes as related to the mass shooting. He said that he was, again, he didn't have anything as related to a personal life. And he again, this just shows me how this male didn't have anybody to give him the guidance as related to male life skills or survival skills. And because he didn't know how to do anything as related to setting a course for where he wanted to go, he stayed in this place where he was deeply frustrated about how his life was going nowhere. And because his life was going nowhere, this is why he sat there and created a plan for harming people at his former alma mater in the rose-colored world. Now, in the rose-colored world, it looks like our world, but it's a completely different place where everything is distorted, and it's in that rose-colored world where your beta males, because they feel like they have no sense of direction in their life and no way to make things change, this is where they set about making their plans to destroy the world around them because they believe there is no place for them in the world. And I believe this is what happened in the case of your Orlando Harris. He felt like since there was no way for him to make a place for himself in the world, he wanted to go out here and destroy the world around him because he felt like since he couldn't achieve anything through fame, he wanted to go out in infamy. And that's why he possibly was sitting there studying these mass shooters and their body counts because he wanted to go out in infamy. What he wanted to do was since he felt like he couldn't achieve things like having a family that supported him, a social life with friends, or a girlfriend, he wanted to go out here and hurt people because he didn't want he didn't know how to deal with the hurts himself. And since he also didn't know how to go out here and socialize, he didn't know how to go out here and build a life for himself because again, that relates to the male life skills every man learns. Unfortunately, many beta males do not know how to relate to other people because they have poor social and interpersonal skills. And since they have poor social and interpersonal skills, they have a hard time connecting with others. And they call themselves being loners because they are afraid of things like conflict. They are afraid of things like rejection. And they don't understand that in order to form relationships, you have to deal with rejection and you have to deal with conflict. It is a part of life that every man has to deal with. Sadly, many men in crisis never get taught that these basic life skills at an early age. And what happens is these men wind up becoming isolated. They wind up going into themselves and they wind up living in the rose-colored world. And in that world, they wind up sitting there frustrated and angry and looking to go out here and hurt others. And that's basically what your Orlando Harris was looking to do. He was looking to go out here and hurt as many people as possible and make those people suffer the way he believed he was suffering. But I believe that he really wasn't suffering as related to things he could have gone out here and put in that work because one of the things many beta males don't want to do is put in that work as related to building things like a social life or building a group of friends or having relationships because there's a lot of hard work as related to that because as I see it if a man can go out here and take all of his money to go buy a AR-15 style weapon, pistols, and go out here and get 600 rounds of ammunition, then they could take that same money and resources towards becoming the man they wanted to be 
but your beta male doesn't want to do that kind of work because they don't want to go through pain. No, they'd rather hurt other people rather than go out here and deal with the minor hardships. Yes, it will hurt for a minute, but in the long term, you will grow. But a lot of beta males don't want to go out here and do that work. No, they would rather go out here and participate in hurting other people and destroying lives because they want to be they want to be the center of attention and that's what I believe your Orlando Harris was looking to do he was looking to be that center of attention for a moment because he didn't want to put in the months and the years of hard work that people go out here and put in now I myself I was an outsider and a loner all throughout high school and junior high school, and I never thought about hurting anyone, even though I had to deal with a lot of bullying and abuse. I never thought about wanting to hurt other people or go back to a former school looking to hurt other people. No, instead, what I wanted to do was go out here and work to be better, and I went out here and looked to go out here and instead of when my high school term ended one year uh, more than it was supposed to go in 1992, I sat down for a couple of months, figured out where I wanted to go. Then I started focusing on college. That's what people do, even if they have a hard time and that they're loners. And this guy, he wants to use the excuse of mental health, but I don't believe he was mentally ill. I believe he was scared of going out into the real world and I believe he was scared of going out into the real world and dealing with rejection and since he didn't want to deal with that hurt what he wanted to do was go out here and hurt other people and that is what makes a beta male a very dangerous individual because he doesn't want to go through the pain of life and because he doesn't want to deal with that type of pain because he doesn't want to go out here and learn how to survive like a man. This is what makes him a man in crisis and makes him motivated to go out here and participate in the violence that we saw at that Missouri high school. What we saw here was a man who was afraid to go out into the world in the future because he was afraid to make that next step. And because he was afraid of making that next step, he planned to stay in the past by going back to a school that he had graduated from and he was looking to go out here and take that step back and get revenge as related to the school where he felt tormented and he felt like he was suffering. That's not the behavior of a man who has character. A man who has character will put the past behind him and that man will start again focusing on where he wants to go, but beta males, they always want to stay in the past because they want to, they're afraid of moving ahead and they want to have their smooth world. And because they want to have their smooth world where they feel safe, what they want to do is they get frustrated when they can't have that smooth world. So they look to just again, destroy the world and the lives of others. And that's sadly what happened at this performing arts high school. The, as I believe it, motive for murder was that this man wanted to go out, he was afraid to go out into the world, and because he was afraid to go out into the world, what he did was look to destroy the only world that he knew, and thank God there was security at this school to prevent this man from achieving his goal of having a large body count of innocent people who did nothing but go to school that day looking to get themselves a diploma and looking to go out here and get move their lives ahead thank god that there was security there that dealt with this individual and i start to see this as sadly a trend as related to these mass shooters that we're going to have school security or police officers averting these mass shootings by having somebody have a firearm and deal with these individuals. And possibly this could send a message to these mass shooters or aspiring mass shooters 
that you're not going to have a body count if you go out here and plan this there will be somebody to fire back and maybe this will make some of these beta males think that twice before excuse me going out here and loading up their guns and making their plans to take other people's lives maybe seeing people firing back like we saw at i believe a virginia um apartment complex where we saw the first woman go out here and participate in self-defense she wound up taking the life of a guy before he could become a mass shooter and we saw in another incident a man i think it was in one of these malls he wound up stopping another mass shooter and this trend really shows us that it isn't the guns that are the issue no the issue has to do with the dysfunctional way that we raise boys to become men and the way we are raising boys to become men is the main reason why we've seen an increase in frequency of these mass shootings over the last decade because the way we raise boys to become men in America today many of these boys do not get the male life skills do not get the male survival skills do not get social and interpersonal skills and when I look at the background of your Orlando Harris it mirrors that of these what they call incels and many of these incels are men who never learned how to be men never learned the life skills and survival skills that would allow them to be able to socialize in the world of men never understood that the way men approach things in the world is different from the way that women do and never learned the unwritten and written social rules of men and because of this you get guys like this who talk about they are isolated loners their entire lives when what they need to do is be in the presence and company of men which is something that Dr. Robert Glover talks about in his No More Mr. Nice Guy book. You really do need to be around other men to learn how they socialize, learn how to interact with men. And in our gynocentric society, we do not teach boys these kind of skills because boys raised in these gynocentric and female-headed households, they are taught to see men as enemies and adversaries. But if we had a lot more men teaching other men male life skills and male survival skills, we would possibly see a decrease of men, boys, and young men thinking about participating in this kind of violence. Because when I look at Orlando Harris, he is a textbook example of what happens when boys don't get male life skills and survival skills. What they do is aspire to be the next school shooter instead of building the discipline and resolve to aspire to be something better than going out in infamy like guys like Sung Hee Cho, the Columbine shooters, or Elliot Roger, three, three or four losers who didn't have the courage to go out here and try to build a better life. No, they wanted to tear down other people's lives so that they should feel a lot better at being at the bottom. And sadly, we've got a lot of young men aspiring to be like these shooters, like this young man did. And that's because there are no men to go out here and teach these men better. And because there are no men out here to teach these men better, what happens is these men become men in crisis. Now, if you want to learn more about what motivates a male like an Orlando Harris to participate in this kind of violence, you can pick up my book, The Man Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis on other online booksellers like Smashwords, Barnes & Noble, the iBookstore, and Google Play. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Coming to paperback and e-readers, from the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women are becoming lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Pre-order your copy of The Woman Crisis on Amazon.com today.